Okay, so for question 17 in the revision, we're going to be looking at linear regression. Now, just like when we did statistics, we have to change up the calculator slightly in order to do this. Um, right now, it's listed as D and math. We need to change it so that it does statistics into variables. So we go into mode, and we're going to go into stat number three. But instead of doing one variable statistics, we're going to actually do two variables. So this is a plus bx, which in our case is going to be the line of regression. So let's go ahead and look at number two. Now we have an x and a y. Now we don't have to do anything yet. We're just going to be reading a graph. But this is good to set up for when we do problems a little bit later on in the revision. So I'm going to go ahead and hit AC, go back to home, and we're going to focus on the graph. Given the following graph with sales and temperature, we need to first find the correlation coefficient r to two decimal places. Now we have r squared here at 0 0.93. In order to make an r squared back into an r, we have to undo the square. Now the way that we do this in math is by taking the square root. So I'm going to do the square root of 0 0.9303. So let's go ahead and do that with our calculator. Square root 0 0.9303, close bracket, and we get an answer of 0 0.9645. So if we look here, which of our answers is 0 0.96? and we see h. The second question says, comment on the value of the correlation coefficient in r. Now this is where it's very strong, very weak, things like that. As y'all remember, we have a numbers, a set of numbers between negative one to positive one with zero in between. If it's close to zero, it's considered very weak. But if it's close to positive one or negative one, it's considered strong. And if it's negative or positive, depends, of course, if it's on the negative side of the number line or the positive side. So if we see that the answer here for h was 0 0.9645, that is very, very, very close to positive one. So here we see a very strong positive linear relationship, or a. What percentage of the total variation in sales is explained by this model? Now this is where we get the r squared. This is the coefficient of determination. All we have to do is take the 0 0.9303 and multiply it by 100 to make a percent. And we get 93.03 percent. And we see that here with c. If we were looking for something that of the, of the total variation that did not explain, you just subtract from 100. 17.4 says predict the sales when the temperature is 5 degrees Celsius. Now we know this is not going to be a very valid prediction because it's far away from any of our data points, but we're still going to plug it into the formula that was given. So we do 1.6609 times 5 minus 17.522. We're going to go ahead and get out our calculator for this. So 1.6609 times 5 minus 17.522. And we get the answer negative 9.2. So here, the closest answer that we see is J at negative 9.